Hey guys, it's Mika here. Welcome in or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time coming across to my channel, hey, we get into all things fashion, makeup, and beauty, but hashtag affordable because I'm all about affordability. And if that is something that you guys are interested in, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload new videos. Yes, I must have recited this intro about seven times and shout out to you if you can recite my intro with me, you're a real one. But as you can uh, already tell, uh, long story short, um, my microphone decided to play me and um, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So Elf and Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, so Elf has come out with a collaboration with Chipotle, the food brand, and uh, yeah, here is the eyeshadow palette, uh, which I thought was really cool. It does retail for $16, however, I feel like this was a limited release uh, collection because when you go onto the website, it is not there anymore, so unfortunately, if you wanted to get it, I don't think you can, but here is a close-up of what the eyeshadows actually look like fun and quirky names this really does remind me of actually being in chipotle and you know at the line and ready to pick out your orders like let me get some some uh, lettuce in there put a little guac throw some pencil beans some white uh black beans throw in uh, a little bit of white rice and it just give me it just gives me that vibe especially since the palette is that silver color is the lip plumping lip glosses in the shade Hot salsa. Here is a closer uh, view of the eye uh, eyeshadow <laughs> of the lip gloss. But yeah, let's just hop right into today's video. So I am starting off with a primer. This primer is from the Mint Melt collection. Um, it's a cooling primer. It kind of has like a jelly, sticky texture. It's just going to allow your foundation to stick very well to your face and not move. I do have a couple of pieces from that collection. So if you do want me to do a review, please let me know down below and I'll go ahead and have that for you. And for my foundation, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I do have a review on this as well. I am uh, very much so loving this foundation. As you can see, it literally is a perfect match. And I believe this is a neutral foundation. So um, are my undertones neutral? I, you know... <laughs> It just might be because this is literally a perfect match. If you didn't see my um, video when I did a review on this, I went in with a primer that I put way too much on and it left a white or a gray cast on my face. So when I applied this foundation, it did look a little off. Um, however, um, not using that primer today and just putting it on my face, is it looks to me, it looks a whole lot better and I'm loving how uh, this foundation looks how it blends out. It's very natural it, it leaves like a nice natural sheen on the skin, but it's very lightweight um, Affordable and I think you guys should go ahead and check it out For my concealers and contour today I'm gonna first go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 410 and then to brighten it up just a little bit in the inner corners I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. And then to contour, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Rich Ebony. And uh, so let's go ahead, highlight, contour the face, and I'll meet you guys back when we're done. So I'm going to go ahead in and just put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids just to ensure that our shadows kind of stay put and have a better payoff 
first up we're going to go in with pinto beans and i'm going to apply this all over the crease and uh, use this as my transition shade and then in the crease i'm going to go ahead and with the shade lettuce this green shade right here which i thought was really cool because as you see once i apply it it's this very bright green however once i get more deep uh into applying the, the uh, eyeshadow you'll see that i guess with the warmth of my skin it kind of melts down to like a deep green like an actual deep lettuce green um i don't know it's kind of weird but as you see it'll start off looking very bright but then it's going to dry down and or warm up with my skin and get a little bit darker once again filming another instagram reel as i'm doing my makeup um if you guys are not already following me on instagram please go ahead and follow me if you can uh, my information will be down in the description box and then i'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges with this morphe brush i'm not really sure what which brush this is but it's a tapered blending brush um yeah so all over the eye i'm going to go in with this look at that you know what elf elf is coming for everyone okay <laughs> but we're going to go ahead all over the eyelid with this shade which is called guac and apply this beautiful shimmer shades elf shimmers are amazing they have just been doing so well with their quality it's just it's so great to work with I do want to mention, although there is great pigmentation with the shimmers, there is a little bit of fallout. As you can see there, I'm giving myself green highlight, <laughs> but there is a little bit of fallout. So just to um, help out with that, I'm just putting a little bit of uh, powder. And for the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with black beans and smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm also going to put a little bit of that green shadow that we use on top, the lettuce shade. Um, as well on top of that for the inner corners I'm going in with a little bit of white rice to brighten up the eyes and I went a little ham so I <laughs> I uh, tried to take off some in the end <laughs> To set everything on my face, I'm going in with the setting powder by e.l.f. Once again, it's their Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Dark. For bronzer, I'm going in with this Pixie and Promise uh, Shape Shifting Contour Palette. And, and then for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Pixie and Makeup by Denise Palette. I think it's the Mind Your Glow Palette. Um, I really like that one. The colors are very beautiful and of course beautiful on dark skin as well and i'm going to use this shade right here for my highlight going in with these kiss lashes this is the triple push-up lashes in the style teddy i believe this is from their matte collection um, for lips we're going in with mac chestnut once again and chai genius by the maybelline superstay matte ink And as you can see, I'm kind of feeling the look. Okay, guys, so here's the final look. Absolutely love the eyeshadow palette. These colors are gorgeous, pigmented, beautiful on dark skin. The shimmers popping. Can you tell that I'm loving this? We're going to go in with the lip gloss. I almost forgot I had this. <laughs> but the plumping lip gloss in the shade Hot Salsa formula is beautiful it glides on effortlessly has a beautiful shine and you know very quickly I started to feel the, the tingling <laughs> I don't think I've ever really worn a lip plumping lip gloss definitely felt a little bit more on the bottom lip since I applied a little bit more there but yeah really really cool 
and that is it for the video thank you guys so much for watching um if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and when this video goes live we would have surpassed 2,000 subscribers so thank you guys thank you thank you so much for liking commenting sharing my videos and i just want to thank you guys so much and we have more growing to go but uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye here she goes again forgetting she's recording hello